I asked for uh, something to talk about, and uh, and and w was given this uh, by by Jenny Lacko. Uh, she says, "I'd love to hear your thoughts on the pressures we place on ourselves, more on your styles of meditating and keeping your headspace positive. What are some specific things you do to make you feel like you're being your best, most creative, happy, happiest, and most productive, whatever that means, self? I believe we can do a greater job of tapping into our human potential when we are in a good place." mentally Jenny I agree uh, and my response to that of like what do I do uh, is uh, I fail at being in a good place mentally uh, and at being productive uh, often I observe that that uh, the, the the riffs and and tides the the the, the mountains and valleys the heart monitor of uh, one's uh, happiness or depression uh, or I'll just speak for myself my own uh, mental emotional stability seems to be the, it's it's not always gonna be comfortable to exist or to be conscious or at least uh, I'm finding uh, but what the what the real pitfall is for me is when um, when not only am I uh, feeling feeling bad but feeling bad about feeling bad and then feeling bad about feeling bad and feeling feeling guilty about allowing myself to feel bad or 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 feeling guilty about guilting myself for feeling bad uh, those sort of things it seems like the answer for me is always uh, to continue, pay attention, and trust that the same resolution, or well, the same, that there will be a resolution, because there's always been, uh, in my experience, whenever I get into a rut, uh, there's always something in the subterranean realms, right? So when I'm having a dip mentally, emotionally, there's usually uh, some some realization, some epiphany, or just some some thoughts that you don't have when when you're flying high. Uh, there are things that you can't see uh, when when skydiving or parasailing or uh, doing a, a triple axle spin. Uh, f extreme figure skating off of of a mountain peak. Uh, there are things that one must must seek the caverns in order to to confront the Minotaur that guides that guards the the secret knowledge. Your guide uh, can be uh, the 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 Ortexian swamp of sadness momentum that 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 brings us or at least I'll speak for myself, I, I, I'll get brought to a place where there's something glittering down there and, and it wasn't up anywhere. So just in terms of, of keeping in a, in, a, in a good place, mental, emotionally, for me, maintaining uh, optimism and positivity all the time is just, it just doesn't happen for me. And I would say that I'm... Uh, 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 noteworthily optimistic turtle. However, reality, or just the nature of my consciousness and pretty much everyone that I've ever spoken to, it, 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 does, it does this, this, like this seems to be healthy, like this and, and, and this even. So like what's not healthy is and like plateauing at the, at the, at the, 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 the depths. Uh, as well as plateauing at well plateauing at the heights seems like it's great but I've had some experiences I had an experience once that I don't remember if it was a dream or if it was a, a, a psychedelic experience but I had this thing this experience of being hooked in to like uh, like like electrodes on my brain uh, as if my entire nervous system was hooked up to, to the bliss generator machine and I was being shocked with just pure euphoria. Bzz, bzz, just imagine gushing serotonin and this electricity of pure pleasure dopamine just cascading uh, neurochemistry and this like super sensational lightning of bliss and I was being 
electrocuted with it and, and zaps and then there was like a, an, an elongated like i held down the button and it was so quick for me to realize that whoa that's not that's not what we're going for that if you if i had that that chair that hooks you in and you can use like like the matrix like the the you know the, the thing that plugs into the back of your brain stem it, it would get old so quick to just push down on bliss it's the experience of being here is the is the all of it i mean don't get me wrong i'd, I'd hook up to that chair fairly often i might make it a part of my daily routine and i, I imagine that would be good for overall uh, mental health and whatnot but it it got so boring so quick it was felt it felt great and it's so i see myself as like this like this anime cat being you know when the cats get electrocuted in the cartoons it was but pure euphoria it was wild um and that really helped cement my thinking that what i should do or what i'm gonna do with my life is to track track keep it keep it steady um but everything in moderation, even moderation, which means you can even have too much moderation. So sometimes go ahead and, and go crazy and have a have a bliss binge, uh, you know. Uh, but the 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 thing that brings me the the most happiness seems to be um, just getting my life oriented in a in a uh, a state of constant joyful effort. What would make me really happy is if th those calendars were full of dates, uh, and and not not like like the, the like the fruit treat, um, but uh, scheduled, agreed upon events to go and do the thing. Because I mean that's something that makes me very optimistic and happy is to know that uh, we'll get to fight another day and to be able to look at a calendar and to see that I'll be able to redeem myself um, because I'm, I'm super hyper self-critical and, uh, and I'll, I'll get into, into um, spurts, uh, like phases of being hyper, hyper diaper critical of thyself and but in those times of even feeling like, well, I'm a complete loser and I suck at everything that I do, that's that's usually what makes me um, go to the drawing board and and uh, practice and and fix some stuff about myself. Um, I don't know. I really uh, everyone that I've ever talked to, as far as productivity wise, I think productivity is this. Uh, there's this this paradoxical uh equilibrium uh sweet spot between uh don't strain but don't be lazy so it's like for me if, if i didn't have any of the adulting stuff or the consideration of money then then i think i would be quite joyfully efforting all the time because there's always something that I want to do that I feel uh, intrinsically motivated to do. It's such a big reality. There's so much to do. Um, if one is ever feeling bad, my suggestion is always to move, uh, both physically move around because there actually seems to be like this psycho spiritual um, energetic element to like being in a place where you where you feel awful and then moving around and going to a new place. Like I'll, I'll feel real uh, a swell of the sads and I'll go for a walk and it's just gone. It's like I left it physically. Um, uh, but I was supposed to be optimistic with this. Um, how do I uh, feel like I'm like I'm um, being most productive and uh, achieving my highest potential? Potential, potential. Um, just it's that uh, I could say it in a less whimsical way, but uh, having faith, showing up and having faith, like continuing to to do the thing and to pay attention and to effort towards be keep walking towards the mountain 
Um, defining the mountain helps walking towards the mountain. Uh, however, there's always going to be interesting little opportunities to zag off and, and, and do some side quests. Uh, something that keeps me very optimistic, and, and this is a meditation, so it answers the meditation question. I just remember, this is all bonus. Uh, we have time. We're not sure about how much time, but that seems to be what a life is, is it's a lifetime. So um, there don't seem to be any imposed deadlines of uh, when to get your life in. You have, you have, we, we say that life is short, but it's the longest thing we experience. I just remember that, um, you know, we're this little miraculous, spherical inhabited uh, planet thing out in, in an endless space and that there's absolutely no doubt that one day this earth will not will not have life on it so so this species long after us i imagine is either getting off and going places so your your legacy your your uh, your offspring yeah, you are the ancestors of those who are either taken to the stars or 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 this will end one day there's this no there's no way that this everything that we know doesn't get destroyed or you could say change form so like this is relevant to 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 us now and that to me always just says well then the, the thing is to just try to enjoy it and for me productivity is enjoyment so I just remember that uh, that it's so inconsequential in the macro uh, and to me so meaningful and so worth engaging in and it's only a matter of time before I'm firing in a really optimal way for, for joy and productivity. Um, and you can always move, and that's that's something that I, a, a friend of mine, I was I was telling him about like being winter depressed, and he was like, "Well, just like do jumping jacks, do push-ups, run, because you don't have to feel creative or motivated to do those things, and those things always help." Uh, and that's why I really like to move around when I'm, because sometimes I'm feeling so uh, non-motivated that it's uh, I feel like any type of expression that I would try to make would just be, would just be mopey. Uh, and I know this, this particular expression may have had a mopey tone, uh, but I wanted to be honest and sincere that uh, uh, it's, it's, it's sometimes a super severe struggle time to, to stay uh, optimistic. Um, but sometimes I'll go, I'll go straight several weeks in a row, just without a care in the world. It's, an, it's amazing how random it is it, it doesn't seem to be on any sort of a calculable plan at all uh, but uh, my, to, to summarize it all whatever you experience is all okay uh, try not to to be nefarious and victimize folks and you're do, and you're doing great by by my uh, metric I, I think uh, whew, I think uh, I think we're doing good. Um, so thanks for thanks for the for for, for the question uh, the for for the for the questions, uh, Jenny. And uh, have a have a have a wonderful life, everyone. I hope this I hope this uh, communicated something. Uh, I wish you all very well. And I don't know what well means for you, um, but I wish you that. I wish you the best.